sir. My topic in this morning is about global citizenship. But before I proceed, let us first define the two words in which global citizenship is composed of. So first is global and second is citizenship. So when we say global, it means world, the whole world. And when we say citizenship, it was about citizen, we, people. So if these two words is combined, we can form a new word, which is people of the world. So global citizenship is also called as people of the world. So what is global citizenship? So when you say global citizenship, it is a way of living that recognizes our world as an increasingly complex web of connections and interdependencies. So when you say way of living, it means that our actions and choices as a citizen. So global citizenship nurtures personal respect and respect to others wherever they live. So there are characteristics in which a people can call a global citizen. So a global citizen is someone who is aware of the wider world and has a sense of their own role as a world citizen. So as a global citizen, we need to know our place and place and part in this world. We need to know our role in this world. So second is respect and values diversity. So as a global citizen, we need to treat each other equally, no matter of its color, status, and culture. We need to respect our differences. So third, a global citizen is someone who has an understanding of how the world works. So as a global citizen, we should not just simply watching TV, playing mobile games. We need to know our situation and happenings in this world. Like today, we are facing a big challenge which is COVID-19. So we, we, we need to understand the rules and laws of the government. The, the fourth is a global citizen is someone who participates in the community at a range of levels from the local to the global. So as a global citizen, we need to involve faith and join in any programs in our community. And next is a global citizen is someone who is willing to act to make the world a more equitable and sustainable place. So as a global citizen, we need to make actions or move in order for us, the world is comfortable to live in. And lastly, a global citizen takes responsibility for their action. So before we make an action, we need to think critically. We need to decide. So actions and decisions should bind together in order for us to have a better result. So aside from the characteristic of being a global citizen, there are ways where we can link others. So the first way is we can link others through socially and culturally through the media and telecommunications. So today, we are just surrounded with technology. So it is easy for us to go to the other places and communicate with each other. The second is through travel and migration. So through travel and migration, we can go to other places, adapt its culture and tradition. So next is economically through trade. So because of global economy, there is what we call free trade, where we can exchange goods and services to other, area, to other places. And lastly, environmentally through sharing one planet. So as a global citizen, we need to collaborate with each other for a common goal. We need to help each other hand in hand. Let us always remember that if one hand can make a difference, how about the thousand more? So to sum up my report, we as a global citizen should be educated in order for us to have knowledge, skills, and values that we are needed to embrace the opportunities and challenges that we encounter. And education which helped us to develop a global citizen. Thank you.